Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A travel writer who has visited 90 countries has revealed the place that convinced her to make a permanent move, for both its natural beauty and rock-bottom prices. Lola Mendez, who is originally from Kansas, left the U.S. at the age of 25 to travel the world and forge a career in journalism. In a piece for Business Insider, she revealed her first trip to Thailand was in December 2015, shortly after she started her travels, and from that initial visit, she was hooked. Some of her highlights included Thai massages, the Buddhist architecture, and the delicious food, with her favorite dish being cow soy, egg noodles in a coconut curry soup. She had such a great time on that month-long trip, that when it was time to leave, she sobbed and made it her mission to return. Despite her travels gathering momentum, taking her everywhere from Kenya to Antarctica, Lola managed to make it back to Thailand where she based herself in Chiang Mai for three months. However, when her family needed some support back home, Lola split her time between Uruguay and Mexico so she could be closer to them. Detailing the story from there, she wrote, I felt an ache in my heart for Chiang Mai. I'd tell everyone who would listen about my experiences in northern Thailand. At the time, my father was sick, and living that far away was not an option. The day he died, a close friend told me to follow my heart and move to Thailand. A year and a half later, when I was invited on a press trip to Bangkok, it felt like the universe was permitting me to move back to Chiang Mai and I took the opportunity. Two other things which lured Lola back to Thailand was the legalization of marijuana in 2022, as she uses it for medical purposes, and the legalization of same-sex marriage. On the topic of sexuality Lola, who refers to herself as a queer Latina, explained, I'm only comfortable living in places where I don't face legal repercussions for being queer. Ahead of the move, Lola investigated different visa options and her hope is to secure a five-year digital nomad visa, which costs just under $300. Since basing herself in Thailand, the avid traveler says she has saved thousands of dollars. In Chiang Mai, she pays just $355 a month for rent, while in New York she used to pay close to $1,500. Meanwhile, grocery shopping is also a snip of what she used to pay in the US. She reveals, I can buy over 6 pounds of mangoes, dragon fruit, and mangosteen for less than $5. Other things which are much cheaper in Thailand include massages which cost between $3 and $30 an hour, and motorbike taxis, which cost less than $2 within a 15-minute radius. In terms of making friends, Lola says the locals are friendly and she feels welcomed by the Thai people. She adds, I've built a community by attending events that align with my interests including yoga classes, pottery workshops, co-working meetups, and dance lessons.